Dan Willis here, and we're talking about Atlantic Credit and Finance, a collection agency. Are you getting nonstop phone calls from Atlantic Credit and Finance? How about letters demanding payment? Or maybe you've discovered a collection mark on your credit reports. If so, you're in the right place. Atlantic Credit and Finance is a third-party debt collector established in 1996 and based out of Roanoke, Virginia. They're a subsidiary of Encore Capital Group. This is how it works. Encore Capital Group, one of America's largest junk debt purchasers, will buy the rights to the alleged debt and then hand it off to Atlantic Credit and Finance to actually collect payment on the account. Atlantic Credit and Encore Capital will buy many types of consumer debt, including health care accounts, credit card accounts, telecom, utilities, automotive, and more. And this debt may have been purchased from the original creditor or lender. Alternatively, it could have been purchased from another debt collector. Before we share the due diligence steps prior to paying collection debts, you should know Midland Funding and Midland Credit Management are also subsidiaries of Encore Capital Group. In other words, we're doing battle with one of the Goliaths of the debt collection industry. The Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, FDCPA, is federal legislation that is intended to protect consumers from aggressive and unethical debt collection agencies. Moreover, this legislation provides consumers with rights when dealing with debt collectors. In brief, the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act says what time of day debt collectors can contact you, what they can say, who they can speak to about your alleged debt, and much more. It's worth your detailed review at your convenience. Furthermore, it requires debt collectors to be honest, upfront, and transparent with their communications. They're not supposed to lie, misrepresent, or deceive consumers, and they are supposed to provide you with that modicum of respect and dignity every human being deserves. Now, does paying Atlantic Credit and Finance collections raise your credit score? For most folks, their main priority is does paying collections raise your credit score? You'd think so. It certainly makes sense if it did. But as of 2020 in this video and moving forward, no, it won't. You see, if all you do is pay collections and nothing more, the only change will be in the status of the collection on your credit report. It'll go from an unpaid collection to a paid collection. And this is still a negative credit report item and is likely to lower your credit score. Fair Isaac Corporation, the company responsible for calculating consumer credit scores in over 90% of lending decisions, also known as FICO, says, and we quote, the fact that you have collections listed on your credit report will almost certainly lower your FICO score. And they go on to say, and again we quote, as far as your FICO score is concerned, two things are considered. Has a collection appeared on your credit report and when it was reported? So whether or not you pay your collections off is really a personal decision. And if you'd like to know more, including seeing these quotes fully sourced, we're going to include a link in the description below over to an article at our website. We also have a free report available there for you, the seven proven ways to boost your credit score. Whereas the Experian Credit Bureau says, consume, and we quote, consumers with collections on their credit reports are likely to have lower credit scores than consumers who have no collections. In addition to the potential impact to your credit scores, the presence of collections also can influence lender decisions, end quote. And that's not all. Even the Equifax Credit Bureau says, and we quote again, collection accounts will remain on your Equifax credit report for up to seven years, even if paid, end quote. Look, if you're working to raise your credit score, it's essential we remove this collection mark entirely from your credit reports, as if it never happened. 
Your credit score is much like your grade point average, GPA, in glory school days past. It doesn't matter if you're acing all your classes if you're failing Spanish class. That one negative mark is going to obliterate your overall GPA. This too is true of your credit score, and it's no secret, the better your credit is, the more damage a negative mark on your credit report will have on your credit score. For millions of Americans, these negative credit report items are the reason for a less than perfect credit score. Contrary to popular belief, you're not just stuck in bad credit prison for seven long, expensive, and embarrassing years. That's fake news. For the few honest credit experts that have actually read the Fair Credit Reporting Act, it clearly says the maximum amount of time most bad credit items can stay on your credit report is seven years. There is no minimum amount of time any negative item must remain on your credit report. Let us repeat, there is no minimum amount of time any negative item must remain on your credit report. The Fair Credit Reporting Act is federal legislation intended to protect you, the consumer. And look, if O.J. Simpson can get early release on a 33-year prison sentence, chances are good you can get early release from the maximum bad credit prison sentence and without good behavior. And if you'd like some help, you can get a free credit report consultation by calling toll-free 1-844-517-7627. Now, for some individuals, they may discover the easiest and fastest path to a clean credit report is to negotiate a settlement payment with Atlantic Credit and Finance, but you should still exercise your rights as a consumer and follow the due diligence steps we'll be covering here in this video and the next coming up. So, of course, subscribe and join our congregation. Now let's talk about Atlantic Credit and Finance and the collection tools. What can they do? Besides the flood of phone calls and letters, Atlantic Credit is going to report a collection on your credit reports, and many debt collectors at this point will inflate the amount of your alleged debt. Legally, they can charge your account with sky-high interest rate fees, and believe it or not, they can even charge your account collection fees. And depending on the size of your debt, these can be substantial fees. One of our members shared with a different debt collector how overnight on a $50,000 student loan debt, it ballooned to over $70,000, as in he was charged another $20,000 between collection fees and interest fees. If Atlantic Credit is unable to collect payment, they generally have two options. They can sell the right to your alleged account to yet another debt collector. Now this new debt collector will begin contacting you for payment. Alternatively, they can sue you, as in file a civil lawsuit against you. If they pursue this path, their goal is to win a judgment, because then they've really got you by the short and curlies. Depending on your state of residence, a judgment can result in wage garnishment, liens being placed against you and or your property, and potentially even asset seizure. Of course, every state has unique laws, so for full details, investigate your local legislation. And please, don't just ignore Atlantic Credit and Finance, and with the false belief, they'll just disappear like a warm spot in the pool. Too often, consumers wake up to find this annoyance has snowballed into an absolute financial nightmare. Now let's discuss the due diligence when it comes to dealing with Atlantic Finance and Credit, and the very first step is to request debt validation. The big coup of the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act is that it gives you and every consumer the right to request debt validation on your alleged debt. This is how you say to Atlantic Credit, prove it. After all, you didn't do any business directly with Atlantic Credit and Finance. They just showed up one day demanding payment. If you prefer, requesting debt validation is how you ask for your original receipt. 
it's best to make your validation request in writing and send it using certified mail as this will provide you with a paper trail of your communications. Atlantic Credit and Finance is required to respond by providing you with the paperwork, documents, and evidence that does prove this is your debt. This paperwork should clearly show you who the original lender or creditor was, the dates of account activity, your total balance, and all the relevant account details. If Atlantic Credit fails to validate your debt for any reason, then you're no longer responsible for repayment. Moreover, they're supposed to contact all three credit bureaus and have them remove this collection from your credit report. And if you'd like some help, you can get a free credit report consultation by calling toll-free 1-844-517-7627. Now let's talk about how old is the debt. If your account is validated, our next step is to review this paperwork you receive in detail. We're looking for your last date of account activity because you're not legally responsible for repayment of most types of consumer debt forever. Typically, you're only legally responsible for a specific number of years, often seven years, once this time window runs out and expires, according to state law called the Statute of Limitations, the debt is supposed to be forgiven. The exact amount of time you are legally responsible for repayment does vary by state, so for specifics, check out your local legislation. And this legislation applies to the overwhelming majority of types of consumer debt, including medical bills, collections, charge-offs, utilities, telecom, repossessions, and many more. One of the only exceptions is federal student loans in default. Warning. Yes, a warning. Debt collectors are notorious for re-aging consumer accounts, as this enables them to continue to attempt to collect payment on a debt despite it no longer remaining legally enforceable. And if you'd like some help, you can get a free credit report consultation by calling toll-free 1-844-517-7627. Again, that's for a free credit report consultation, and the toll-free phone number is one 844 Five one seven seven six two seven. This is Dan Willis. We're going to include a link in the description below over to an article at our website for the full story. We also have a free report available there for you. The seven proven ways to boost your credit score. And of course, subscribe and join our congregation because coming up next, we're going to be talking about how to potentially pay Atlantic Credit and Finance, and so it will help and improve your credit score. So of course, subscribe and join our congregation. Have a fantastic day and looking forward to talking to you again here soon.